Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. Okay, well today we're going to do another viewer request. This is coming from Vassal S. He says, hey, uh, can you tell, tell me how do I calculate the difference between two rows? And then he goes on to show a little bit about what he means. In this case, he's got January uh, through December. He's got quantities coming in quantities going out and he wants to calculate the difference between the two. He sent me a link to his, a Google Sheet. Looks something similar to this. You've got the date, a place, a type, this is the in or the out, the wholesale or detail, and we're not going to worry too much about that. And then we have the quantity and you can see that he wants to understand what that quantity, what that delta is but you have the in and the out in the same column. So let's come over here. First thing I always do is just to make sure I understand what's happening. So I'm going to bring the date over here. I'm going to change this to month because that's probably what you're going to be looking at. Change this to discrete. Makes it look like we were expecting. I'm going to bring the quantity over, drop that in there, and bring the type under the columns. And so what you're really looking for is just the delta between the in and the out. So I think the easiest way, and I may be misunderstanding the question, the easiest way to do this is by creating a new calculated field. And we're just going to spell out quantity here. And we're going to say if the type, oops, if type equals in, now be careful because it is case sensitive then it's going to just be the quantity else we're going to do the negative quantity and then we'll end all right so that is going to give us if it is in it's a positive and if it's out it's a negative right so let's go ahead and bring bring that on and yes that's positive and negative and one thing we can do here, we're just going to do real quick, totals, we're going to do the row grand totals. And so this gives us the value that we want, right? So we're not going to always have grand totals. Let's get rid of the grand totals for a second. Now that we have pluses and minuses in the same column, we can go ahead and get rid of type. And now you'll see that there's the 118, negative 118. And you don't even need this upper quantity. And now you can use this in a bar chart or whatever else you want. Bring the date up here to let me put this into columns. I always get this wrong. Columns. Change this to month. We're going to make this discrete. We may go back to continuous. And then we'll put the quantity on the bar chart. Yeah, that's not the bar. That's the bar. There you go, and so now you'll be able to see how it's what's coming in and what's going out. And if you wanted, you could take it this type op. This has got the delivery uh, of detail or warehouse. You could bring that in, and so now you will see how much is coming in or out. So in this case, the detail has 36 is leaving a net negative, and whereas the wholesale has a a net increase. So just another way of looking at it. Hope that helps Fassel. Thanks for writing in and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.